hi family welcome to the channel once again it's a joy meeting you here we have another amazing sermon from prophet Hubert angel in this sermon he made mention that he asked an amount that is seven million pounds from one of his pastors and something really happened so let us listen as the prophet explains what transpired between him and his pastor seen the anointing. I don't care about the differences in the political parties. No. See, I never agreed with everything that my father was saying. He was my father. That's the reason he was my father. If you agree with me on anything I say, you have become my father. Ah. There are things I should tell you, you go like, ah. No, 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 no. No, Mkuruga, ay, ay. Then you just go like, ah, he's, he's my father, so what can I do? I don't agree, I'm just going to do it, but I, it's not like I agree. One of our assistant pastors in London, I'm going, I'm, I'm flying with him to Zimbabwe. I said to him, son, here's my bank account. What is in your bank account now? He said, 12 million, right? 12 million pounds. Yeah, 12 million pounds. I said, this is my bank account. Put 7 million now. He said, what? I said yes. I said as a seed or as what? I said there's no seed. It's not an offering. I give you in two weeks time, or I'll give you in seven days maximum. I will even give you my my password. You change it to your password so I don't access it. I said so you just want to sit with seven million? I said give seven million. Just do it. Don't think too much. Do it now. We went together, we are in the first class together. I said, have you done it? It's like, ah, uh, you know, it takes time. I said, you are lying. It does not take time. You can do it right this minute. Seven million. I said, son, I have more money than you. But I want that seven million in my account now. Then we talk after seven days. If you done it, uh, you know, the problem with my account, it is set up differently. I set up what? I said, okay, well, I'll do something. Let me text my people that deal with my properties. They will draft a contract right now while you say on this flight. And you will sign it electronically to say, I have given you all these properties for this amount. So you are safe. Now I've got your seven million. Now we have my properties that are worth more than that. He says, um, gosh. <laughs> Family, it's, it's very important I come in here quickly because uh, this is really, really uh, a deep thing. Now, family, if we are in the shoes of uh, his pastor, one of his pastors, I believe many of us might, might ask might act this way. Now, why am I saying this? Because one, first of all, um, Prophet Rupert Angel is asking for seven million pounds. That is half of what he has in account. But why this delay? And why is the pastor telling lies? You see, if you are a pastor who doesn't trust in your head pastor, this is what happens. Because many pastors today don't even trust their head pastor. One, you know that Prophet Rupert Angel has money. So he will not even dip you. Right? So why this delay? Two, you should know that he's your head pastor. And he even promised that he's going to give the money to you in a week time. But why did he delay? This is what many of us do today. If your minister is trying to ask you for money or to help you in a project, then we want to crawl in our shelves. This will not bring God's blessing on us. This is going to draw us back. Let us always remember. Let us trust in God and trust in the servant, the servant that God 
has assigned them over our spirits. Let us listen to the rest of the sermon. I believe it's really going to surprise us what will happen next. It's very of some things, some crime, this and crime, that done. I had said, give me seven. So I could give him after two weeks, after they've taken the, the other five that was left. All of it. You have seen him here. He was even in charge of the, the, um, the prophetic, retreat. prophetic retreat. Twelve million gone to this day. Oh God. I only said, give it there. I give you my properties that are more than that. So that if you lose this money, you take the property. But I'm not using your money. I just want for seven days. I even said 14. Then he said, uh, I said, okay, seven. The third day, all his money was gone. This is now two years. No, they are not retaining it. They are not trying to figure out anything. No. They started saying you didn't pay tax when, another year, then penal penouts. We're now penalizing you for this. This one million is for this penalty. This one. It just multiplied and multiplied. One instruction. It looked like he was about to lose. Even me, if if my father said put seven million, I will have problems too. So I understand him. But just imagine, he is there in this complicated situation. He's in his regalia. Just pray for me. I, whatever happens, pray for me. Go and exercise more faith. Wow. Wow. Family, this is the end of the sermon, and you all heard what Prophet Ubit Angel said. So, his pastor lost all his money in just three days. Right? So, it means that in that moment when he met the Prophet Ubit Angel, God, in a way, was trying to save him. But we see, he didn't get it. This is what as Christians we need to do. When you feel like your pastor is trying to take money from you, in that instance, we don't know what God is doing. God is maybe trying to save you from something. But you see, at times we cling to this kind of worldly stuff, money, riches, properties, and it's very hard to give out. Now, so if the pastor were to give that seven million pounds to Hubert Angel, like he wouldn't have lost the money. Maybe even God will have reversed what was about to happen to him. Now he has lost the entire money. So as Christians, let this be a lesson to us. Let this be a lesson to everyone who has heard his sermon. It's very important as Christians that we adhere to the words of the spirit thank you very much for watching thank you for being there always i'll see you in the next video god richly bless you